Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, my first official day of break. I did have a three-day weekend, um, and I think we don't go back to work until late July. Um, I'm very behind on videos, so you probably won't even see this until mid-June. Um, but we did, the kids were out of school the 28th, and my last day was June 1st. Um, I'm hoping to vlog every day this summer. Let me first and say, excuse this. This is stress and TMI. And if you have a sensitive stomach, don't listen. But no lie, this morning, this thing had four like heads on it. And I was just like, oh my God. But I was very, I wasn't really stressed out. I was just overwhelmed the last week of school. Um, I feel like if you worked in education, you really wanted to go out big because we didn't get to go out at all last year. Um, so we just really, we went big. Um, so last year during the pandemic, um, one of my coworkers and I worked out like five days a week. We did a good two mile of hills, walk, run, combo. Um, we did tons of weights and we did this like five days a week. I would say we probably averaged, um, she is out of school right now. We're both not working and I am working just for the travel agency right now. So my hope is to do that again, um, five days a week, like Monday through Friday. Um, I am also, we're all doing my fitness pal. So I'm hoping to do that this summer. Um, and then just having fun with the kids. I kind of made a bucket list of like, I just kind of want to enjoy the free things that we have. Um, we are getting passes to the zoo again because they just finished up all construction there. We, um, I'm so torn. So I said we weren't going to go to Universal because the mask mandate and it was just gonna be really hot but then they took it off if you're vaccinated um, so we could go but I'm like technically my kids my um, younger two would still have to wear a mask um, because my older two um, can get vaccinated and actually they both have an appointment to get vaccinated um, but I was like I would feel really bad for Casey and Ellie to like have to wear their mask. Um, and you know, I know people will say, well, there's no way of knowing. Well, there's not, there's no way of knowing who's vaccinated or not. Um, and honestly, I'm not scared of COVID. I am one of those people that, um, I mean, if I was told to wear a mask, I wore one. Um, I have been vaccinated, so I can now not wear one. Um, but like, I don't get worried in situations where, you know, it's crowded and people aren't wearing masks or whatever. I'm just, I don't know. Um, I, I've had COVID. I've had coworkers have COVID. Um, and maybe I'm just naive and we were all really blessed, but I'm also over it and I feel like we can't live we can't keep not living at some point in time we're going to have to take risk and things like that so i just don't know what to do about universal and um because I, I just don't know much about my little kids so that's kind of up in the air on what we're going to do there um but that would be in july and then we're supposed to go to the beach for fall break. So we kind of didn't want to plan. I mean, I wouldn't mind like a one small beach day, but to go to the beach from us, it's like five hours. And so, I don't know, for me, it's not worth it to pack it up for like a day or two. I'd rather go for like a few days. So we probably won't go to the beach, but we will do six flags in white water take full advantage of our passes that we have. We'll go to the zoo. We want to go to the 
Chick-fil-A in Georgia that's like has a Hawaiian themed menu. Um, what else did I put on my bucket list? We want a tie-dye shirts this summer. I would like for them to be Mickey ones, possibly. Um, go on a walking trail that's near us. Go to a lake that's on the other side of Atlanta, but close enough to us. Um, so yeah, we have, why is my coffee pot not brewing? We have a lot of things planned, but we're really just trying to um, kind of be balling on a budget this summer and um, save a lot of money. I also want to make two mortgage payments and two car payments of straight principal. Um, so, you know, say your mortgage payment is, um, I'll just say for easy numbers, $1,000, I wish. Um, you know, part of that is going to your taxes and all that stuff. Um, so we want to do just principal payments. So in order to do that, we have to stay home this summer. Um, I also have a goal to um, not um, eat out as much, to really try to eat out only when we have to. Yesterday was our last day to eat out because like spur of the moment didn't feel like it. So I do want to go to Costco and grab things like the pre-made burgers so we can just throw them in. Um, grab, you know, some things that are just a good, easy grab and go. Um, Aubrey did make the volleyball team, which was kind of cool this year. So she, um, she'll be at JV and truth be told, I don't think she'll get much playing time, but she's on the team. So she has practices Monday through Thursday all summer long. Um, Ellie has a cheer camp next week. I have to call Casey from the basketball camp, but I don't know if it's too late to get him in. Um, Trevor is working. He'll hopefully get his license on Thursday, um, which will be really nice. So yeah, we're just going to kind of vlog daily um, and just enjoy summer. Uh, I am hoping that uh, there's not much to do and we can just relax, hang out by the pool, hang out with our friends, work out, I'm really hoping to lose some weight, um, keep going to the doctor and figure out what's going on with my health and my reaction to my COVID vaccine. It kind of did some weird things to me that they want to check on. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where we are this summer. So we went and saw Cruella Monday on my birthday and I'll send you, I'll enclose a quick clip if I took any of that, but it was really good. Really enjoyed it. But if not, I'll show you guys today. Today I am going to Trader Joe's, Costco, um, and just stocking up on some good healthy foods because it's supposed to just be a really cloudy kind of eh day. All right, we are back from Trader Joe's, Target, TJ Maxx. I'm gonna do a very quick Trader Joe's haul because the stuff has been in my car for a little while. So we got flowers for $4.99. Uh, that's worth something. We got the cookie dunkers. I figured this would be a fun little treat um, with ice cream or something like that. Um, Aubrey got spinach artichoke dip. I got this for my husband. It's just a giant chocolate bar. Um, I got him three little chocolate bars. I got some pizza sauce to make homemade pizza. Um, this candle, it's a mango tangerine. I'm gonna put that in my best friend's um, bucket for her birthday. Blue cheese for salads and stuff like that. I got this 21 seasoning salute. I've heard really good things about this. Um, I shouldn't eat peanut butter. I'm actually kind of allergic to it. So I got this cocoa almond spread, kind of like Nutella um, and peanut butter. Um, I got this chopped veggie mix that I'm gonna put on my wraps. And then I got some real vanilla. Um, Aubrey got these uh, chocolate covered pretzels. 
Um, Aubrey got these for my husband. They're ice cream sandwiches. I'm gonna throw them in the freezer real quick. Uh, Aubrey picked out this pizza for like a night whenever I don't cook. It's um, thin crust, brie cheese, and tomatoes. Um, she got these brioche toast to go with her spinach and artichoke dips. I got a vegetable uh, fried rice. And I can add chicken to it. Um, some tater tots, just for having. Can you go to, um, can you see the Aubrey got some freeze dried raspberries for a snack. She got this overnight mask. Um, I got some cooking spray in olive oil. She grabbed two things of strawberries. Um, I grabbed another thing of chocolate for my husband. Maybe she grabbed this. I don't know. Uh, General Sal sauce. I'm going to try to make that for my husband one day. Trail mix. And a wafer cookie with peanut butter filling. As you can see, I'm trying to get chocolate for my husband for Father's Day. Um, she grabbed these kind bars, which we obviously could have gotten at like Target, but we just grabbed them as we were there. I grabbed tabbouleh because I love tabbouleh. Um, a pizza crust. She grabbed two of these. Um, she grabbed just the fettuccine, fettuccine alfredo and then we can add chicken to it for a dinner. Oh, apparently got two of those. And then we got this pizza cheese. So I'll just get some like a fresh pepper, a fresh onion, um, some pepperoni and put it on there. And then I grabbed um, some sweet potatoes. She grabbed some green apples and I grabbed some gala apples. So um, we went as just something to kind of do um, a different store with some different things. I really wanted to find this. Um, and some other stuff is just a better price. Like this for her to have these individual packages. If we bought them at like Costco or something, it would have been through the roof and that was a pretty good price. So that was really good. I'm gonna put this away and then I'll show you what we got at TJ Maxx and Target. Do you know why you broke? Hmm? Do you know why you broke? This looks like I'm coming into Target and Aubrey's like, why are you going to Target? There's Target's everywhere. And then we pulled in and this one is like a garage. It's all bougie. And she goes, because that's a normal reaction. It's New Hampshire Target. And so now we're going into this bougie Target. Well, it's Target that they have all the hearth in hand. Yo, it sounds so crunch. It looks disgusting. That's good. It does look like Like, especially whenever you try to bite it and it, like, deforms. Well, I think it's also supposed to be more frozen than this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> things in life. Yeah. This is what we grabbed at Target. It was a different Target that we've never been to in this area. So I found these leggings on clearance for $16. They were normally $32. They are the All in Motion brand. Um, and they're just, they're orange. They're very fallish. Um, but I just need some leggings. Aubrey grabbed a few things for back to school. 
So this first one is a universal thread shirt, $14.99 for $7.49. I told her she could not wear them. She wanted to buy stuff literally the week that we got out of school. She's gonna be stuck not wearing them, but she said that was fine. She got this Wild Fable tank for $3 to replace the one that she tie-dyed. She grabbed this Blondie shirt. And this was normally $16.99 on clearance for $8.49. Um, I grabbed this outfit for Ellie. We're going to go to Florida for 4th of July most likely. So these little star red and white shorts with this little sparkly tank top. I um, figured that would be cute. We also grabbed two of these like pool um, squirter pool noodle things. They were only $5. Um, and we definitely needed one. It's something we use all the time. So, Aubrey keeps stealing my, like, sweater things. She found this one. She's like, look, we can share it. So, this was normally $29.99 on clearance for $14.99. Um, and it's a one, like an X or one X from their Ava and Vive line. Um, but she wanted to have it. So, there's that. And then, we grabbed... Um, she grabbed this bathing suit. She's been looking for it at every Target and couldn't find it. So it was their exhilaration line. And then this is the bottom. I grabbed two tank tops because I have none because I've gained so much weight. Um, so hopefully these look nice. If not, I'll return them. This is a very like wine color. And then I grabbed this like navy or not navy, it's like a royal blue one, um, just to wear with shorts. And then she saw this shirt. This was the only, oh no, it wasn't even full price. This was regular $12.99, and it's about basically talking about the earth thing. She's the only one we got. So again, that's another um, back to school item for Aubrey. And then I got this swimsuit for me. It was very expensive, so I'm hoping that it fits. If not, I will be returning it, but it's just a one piece with like the little fluffiness and it does have a little strap to it. And then we went to TJ Maxx and I was on a hunt for my coffee that I've found. So these are $6.99 in Disney. These are like 10 to $12 and they expire in 2022. So I grabbed um, the Joffrey's French Bistro. I grabbed two of those. Nope, I grabbed three of those. And then I grabbed the uh, Peru version. That one was $7.99. So I'm gonna stock up my coffee cabinet with that. Um, since we have done the whole um, outdoor thing, I wanted a like waterproof speaker. So I'm gonna try this one and then I figure we can also take it when we go to the beach this summer or like when we're at the pool. It was only $20, so we'll see how well it lasts, but I wanted to try it. Oh, I forgot gum. Um, and then I saw this. I suffer from really, really bad dry scalp, so I grabbed this, and of course, Aubrey had to grab one too. Um, and they're just like a scalp massager when you shampoo your hair. Um, and then we grabbed nail clippers. I couldn't find any the other day. She has some. And then... Um, we found Hydro Flask there, which was another thing that was on our list because I saw that these were there. This was $24.99 there. And I want to say when she bought one before, it was like $45 on Hydro Flask website. Um, I also grabbed this coffee cup, which I've been eyeing for a while, but I didn't want to pay the price because I want to say they had it for like $12. It was on clearance for $8. I just thought it was super cute. And I don't need it, but... And then I grabbed another one of these. This was $4. This is a really good, um, like if you bring your lunch to work, um, cause you can just lift this up and it works really well. So I grabbed that. And then we found more clothes. So she found this sweater in the men's department. It says Spellman. I don't know what that means. Um, regularly $16.99 on clearance for 10. So she grabbed that for back to school. She found this shirt in the men's section and it was $9.99 and it has like the tie-dye and as a skeleton. 
Um, I grabbed these shorts for Trevor. They were $9.99, excuse me, $9.99, and he definitely needed a few more pairs of summer shorts. Um, she grabbed this shirt, it was $5.99. I mean, I just think for the prices, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, those places are really good place to shop, especially for teens, because if you go into the mall, the prices are just through the roof. This skirt was a little pricey, but it's really pretty. Um, it's $12.99. And she has this shirt, which was $9.99. And it's like a kind of loose fit crop. Um, we got Trevor another pair of shorts. These ones were $7.99. Again, just a basic short. And then I got him this shirt. It was $9 and it's just an Adidas t-shirt. So, I spent a ton of money this morning. <laughs> um, but I am going to get all of this stuff put away, tidy up downstairs, get Casey to take the trash out. Um, here we go.